In Fire Monkey 1, there was the T platform abstract class where you could get certain platform information. This was good as a starting point, but we now have new PCs, tablets, touch, multi touch systems, and of course the future of smartphones and tablets and these other kinds of devices. So in FireMonkey 2, we have new platform services support that's based on interfaces, which enables you to get and query information about what services are provided on the platform your application is running on. It also enables you to build custom implementations of certain services if you have special platforms you need to support. Uh, here is the fmx.platform documentation that lists some of the interfaces that are now available that you can use. For example, for seeing if there's a clipboard service or a virtual keyboard service. There's also the source code for fmx.platform, which defines these different interfaces. So for example, the iFMX application service and what interfaces it provides. There's the base class, which is tplatform services, which has two functions in particular, supports platform service that takes an interface as a GUID and, and returns true if that service is available. There's a second form of the supports platform service where you can pass it the the GUID of the service interface. And you can also get an output interface of that service so you can use it. And again, it returns a true if the service is available. And I have an example application here. It just has a button and a, and a memo field. And what I do on the click handler is I get the RTTI context and I iterate through a set of the services that are available and I see if it can find that service at runtime and if it's assigned a value then I'll output the name of the service, the GUID of the service, and the service interface itself. And if it's not available then I'll just output uh, the service and its name and I use a, a, an X for not available when it returns false and, and an O if it's available on this call, which is T platform services, uh, whatever the current platform I'm running on is, and check to see is there support for that platform service on the machine I'm running on. And I have this structure up here, it's a record array, which has the name of the service. So fmx.platform.ifmx application service, and then a string human readable form name for the name of the service. And I do that for each of the services. Uh, a couple of the services, window service, window border service, are in the form unit. Uh, the timer service is in the types unit. And the menu service is in the menus unit. The rest are in fmx.platform. So different interfaces, for example, if you're running on a device, or if it supports drag and drop, or if it supports a menu. Of course, we know that devices like iPhone and iPad don't have a mouse and they won't, they won't have a menu service. So you can use that. Windows has a virtual keyboard service. Macintosh doesn't. So I'll show an example here in a moment that you, of how to use the virtual keyboard service. So let's just run this application on Windows and see what the output is. And so it says here that we have all of the services are available, the ones with O's, except for the device service, the hide app service, and the style high res service. Uh, that's there in case you have a Macintosh Retina display, for example. Then let's go and run this on the Macintosh. And over on the Macintosh, we'll get output for different services that are available on, in my case, on Mac OS X Lion. And then running the application, it'll output the services and show that I have all the services available on Mac except the device service and the virtual keyboard service. But this style high res service is available uh, for those other kinds of displays. So here's a, an example that uses the virtual keyboard interface. I've got an edit box and a button. And we'll look at the uh, code behind. I test to see if the current platform supports the virtual keyboard service. And if it does, I'm going to return that interface for the service into this variable kbd service which is of type a virtual keyboard service. And then I will set the focus to the edit box and I'll use that variable and say show virtual keyboard for my form. And if the virtual keyboard service is not available, I'll simply output 
uh, into the edit box, no virtual keyboard service found. So let's run this on Windows and see what happens. So here's the virtual keyboard and I can uh, type on the keyboard with the mouse or hit keys uh, on the regular keyboard. And then if I run this on Macintosh OS 10, and then over on the Macintosh, when I click the button, it'll just put no virtual keyboard service found. And that's a quick look at the new platform services support that's been added to FireMonkey 2 in Rad Studio XE3.